Hey fellow contractors, this week's tip of the week, we're gonna be discussing how it was possible to lay 28,000 square feet, both doing the base, the bedding layer, laying the pavers in just five days. It's simply because of a process that was designed by Optimas in the 70s, and this week we're gonna go over that process. Number one, is obviously gonna be your curbing. Number two is gonna be how do you pick that curbing using vacuum. Number three is going to be how do you screed your number 57 stone. Number four is going to be compaction, which is really important. Next is gonna be how do you screed your number eight or number nine stone. Following that is going to be how do you lay out the product or begin the install. Following that is gonna be laying mechanically and how that's done. Then you have your infill material and the proper tools for doing that. And then the final step would be your compaction on top of your pavers. Curbing is gonna be the first step and one of the most important steps, making sure you get that curbing perfect. Optimus has created a system to do just that. Once we start getting the bedding level perfect for the curbing, it's important that we're using the right equipment to pick those curbing pieces and put them into place. Using the all-rounder, makes the process a one-man job, setting those curbing effortless. The third step is gonna be getting your base ready. And this is to be done with Planmatic or Maxi Screed or Mini Screed system, which is what we used in this application. Find it to be the most productive way to get your base level perfect. Keep in mind, depending on your project size, the Planmatic has different size pieces can go anywhere from four foot all the way up to eight foot. Whether you're doing dense grade or an open grade application with number 57 stones, the Planmatic is gonna be the most efficient way to screed that base layer. The fourth step is gonna be compaction. It's the most important part of a project. You can see in this project here, we used a large compactor. Due to the square footage, we wanted to compact fast and efficiently. You can also use the Weaver compaction equipment some of the smaller stuff, always important not to miss this step. You always want your bedding layer to be perfectly level and ready for those pavers. And to do so in this project, we use the Planmatic. It's gonna be your most efficient way. You can also use the Maxi Screed, Mini Screed, or even our Screeder package. Depending on the size project, the layout tools might vary a little bit. In this application, we used a large square with some chalk lines to get our first line set. You can also use a rover system or a GPS system and a project this size might be beneficial. Some of your smaller projects, tape measure or a smaller square might just do the trick. Always important to make sure you get the proper layout and make sure you're only doing that step once. You don't want to go back through and have to adjust everything over. It's really important to start on the right track. Our seventh step is gonna to be to mechanically install the product. Now as a contractor myself, I always thought it was kind of far-fetched to be able to use mechanical equipment even in a smaller setting. But mechanical installation is definitely the way of the future, whether it's a multi-six on the front of an excavator, a P22, or an S19, all great ways to install efficiently, maximizing that efficiency. Infilling the pavers can be a daunting task, especially on 28,000 square feet. It's always important to use the right equipment depending on the size of the project. In this project here, we actually used an Avant loader with a sweeper on the front to get that infill in. You can also use the mini joint filler or just a broom on some of your smaller projects. It's always important to choose the right tool depending on the size project. Your final step is gonna be compaction on top of the pavers. Now when you talk about compaction, depending on your application, large scale application, you're gonna want larger compaction equipment with poly pads. Smaller projects, you might get away with a VPR 450 or VPR 700, just those rolling compactors. A Couple different types of machines that can be used, but make sure you're choosing the right one for your size projects. I understand after watching this video that some of the equipment that we showed looks quite expensive. 
but I encourage you to run the numbers, figure out what's gonna be the best investment for you and your company, and I encourage you to watch the other video we have on the screen where we've already started to run those numbers for you. Thanks again for watching. Hope you found it useful. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, pavetool.com, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks again.